welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the L'Oreal Feria Rebel Chic High Lift Blonde in shade Ultra Pearl Blonde. So that's not the color that's on my head right now and I'm going to give you a really really honest review of this hair color so just stay tuned and watch me do the process of putting it in. I'm not afraid of Alright you guys, so this is the hair color we are going to do. It is the Feria Rebel Chic High Lift Blonde Multifaceted Shimmering Color in shade Ultra Pearl Blonde. Um, the picture says it can go from this dark to this blonde, and that is what we're going for today. Don't know why I was done my hair blonde again, but... So, it's going to be really, really blonde afterwards, and hopefully it works. My hair is a dark ready toned purple right now. It's kind of hard to tell. It's faded on this side. And we're going to try to do this. We're going to do a deep conditioning treatment after I color it, um, just so it doesn't break off. And then we'll see how it looks. So it comes with four things in the bottle. It comes with your instructions, your gloves. Then it comes with a aromic shimmer serum, which you add into the um, shimmering developer. And then you also add in the shimmering um, color gel into this. So I'm going to pour all three of these things into this bottle and you also get a conditioner for after you wash your hair. So I'm going to put on my gloves and then mix all the things together, put it in my hair and then we will wait for 25 minutes. So my hair color is in and I'm dyeing my eyebrows for just about four minutes just so they lighten up a little bit. So I want to put my Anastasia pomade on to do my brows every day. It won't be so dark compared to my hair. Um, my hair is thoroughly covered. There was a lot of product in the bottle which I did not expect. And now we just have to wait 25 minutes and in four minutes wipe this off. Should be good with that. And I will check back in on you in half an hour. All right, it has been 25 minutes. I lightened my brows a little bit. It looks fine, whatever. Um, little, a lot concerned about this. Um, it looks really red and purple still. I can see that my roots are blonde, but everything else looks red and purple. And maybe it's just sitting in here until I wash it out, but I doubt it. Um, it's pretty pissed off right now, it really sucks. But I'm going to wash it out now and then I will show you when it's wet, show you when it's dry, and then show you when it's all dried up. So, yeah. So this is my hair wet. It looks exactly the fucking same, except for my roots are blonde. But my roots were blonde naturally already, that's why I decided to dye my hair. They just weren't this yellow. <sighs> but this didn't do anything. Like... My hair looks exactly the same as I did before, and I just wasted nine dollars. So I'm gonna dry it and then I'll show it to you. But I'm pretty sure it's not gonna make any difference. Okay, guys. So this is the color dry-ish, not completely dry. Um, it lightened the ends a little bit. 
roots are blonde, but they were originally anyways. And then this side that only has this one piece that is blonde, and the rest of it still looks the same. So that really sucks. It was a failure of a hair color. I feel like I wasted ten dollars. Um, I should have just got two and got the one I usually get, and then like one to go on top. But I like experimenting, and this is what happens. It really failed for me, and I will never do it again. So don't know what to do now. All right, you guys. So this color did absolutely nothing for me. It really fucking sucks. Um, normal farias like this farrier are a lot better. The little Rebel Chic collection, I saw like five of these in Walgreens. They fucking suck, okay? They really, really suck so bad. The High Lift Blonde, multi face Shimmering Color, Extreme Lightning for Darker Hair. And it even says, lifts up to four levels anti-brass. Like, no, you did not do anything for me. You made my blonde roots a little bit blonder, and that's about it. So this color really sucks. I don't recommend buying it. Um... It was really easy to put in. There was a lot of product in the bottle. I was really happy with that aspect of it. But as far as results, you guys saw it. It sucked really bad and made no difference whatsoever. So I do not recommend buying this product. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I put out five videos a week. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Bye, guys. This video is going to be about the L'Oreal Ferris Paris. <laughs>